Year after year, we have seen them return, many injured in body or soul, some in black draped caskets, all of them changed. The way of statistics and a bureaucracy slow to respond. We have rendered honors at the gravesides of veterans dying at their own hand of shattered hopes and broken dreams, 22 per day. Raised on a battlefield where freedom's cry rang over a rude bridge. On this green bank, by this soft stream, we set today a votive stone.
Next up, presenting for the United States Marine Corps is Pat Adams, Korea War veteran. Rhonda Walls Kirby, K E R B Y. And um, can you go ahead and spell your full name for me? Oh, uh, R H O N D A K uh, Walls, W A L L S. And you have a title? I am past district governor of Rotary District 5890. Okay. And you were kind of the, um, the MC this morning? I, I was the MC of the event. So talk to me about what was happening this morning. Uh, well, um, we were dedicating the Freedom Park Memorial Tower, which is a monument um, dedicated to all those who have served in our five branches of the military services and to honor those who perished in the attacks of 9-11. Yeah. And so how, how is the, uh, uh, how's the planning go? I mean, how has this uh, come to fruition? Uh, four years ago, in 2011, um, I was district governor, and uh, I, want, I made a call out to all the clubs in District 5890 to do a project in honor of the 10th anniversary of 9-11. And the Rotary Club of Katy decided that they wanted to go big in that honor of those individuals. So we ended up deciding because Commissioner Andy Myers is in our Rotary Club and he was developing this side of George Bush Park that lies in Fort Bend County in Precinct 3 that he could donate the land and we came up with the idea to actually put a monument together. So I believe this is now the largest monument in Fort Bend County and this side of Harris County. Kind of reminiscent of the, uh, I guess, the San Jacinto Monument a little bit. But, it uh, looks a little honoring, reminiscent. Honoring all the metal, military branches. Uh, yes. Uh, um, if you'll look at the base, uh, the base is five-sided, and it has imprinted in the base um, the names of all of our five branches of the military services. And to tie into 9-11, there's actually a vault that was built, a crypt, that was laid in the cement that actually has artifacts from all three sites at 9-11, um, from the crash, the Twin Towers, and the Pentagon. And it also has a Purple Heart that was donated from one of our club members who remain anonymous. Uh, we also have Katy artifacts, Fort Bend County artifacts. So it is a living, breathing memorial to not only those individuals, but an honoring of our service members. Yeah, it's, it's quite a good turnout this morning, despite the weather. Despite the weather, I think when you do, do something in honor of others, people recognize that, and they want to say, help say thank you. Um, any other comments or something you want to add? I'm good.